So here we are folks with the uh, ME1 recently added to the collection. Uh, the cowling's loose because I'm just taking it off now. Just to level the boiler up slightly. It's uh, ever so slightly skewish but uh, whilst we're at it uh, there you can see the insides. Um, without measuring exactly I couldn't say but it looks like uh, an MM2 sized boiler. Uh, shorter firebox um, and this one is the solid fuel version with the sight glass there's the uh, the tray, it's got the useful place to put your nuts and bolts in when you're not wanting to lose them um, yeah uh, the book says 78, 1978 to 1980 for this one stopped making them in 1980 I've since been told it could be as late as 85 uh, but uh, marine engines not being uh, shall we say at the top of my list uh, to add to the collection because I find it quite uh, well even if I had a boat to put it in or even if I had a boat with a steam engine already in uh, as you can appreciate running uh, a boat is far more awkward than running a mobile or indeed a stationary i.e. I have to go somewhere to run the boat um, there is the canal of course uh, and I have done that with the uh, electric radio control boats in the past but uh, this was a local purchase from uh, the chap who runs Winterbourne House um, the toy steam day coming up there this year October the 11th 2014 so uh, it should be a good day with um, I think there's around 40 exhibitors planned and uh, a couple of classic cars miniature steam engines not just model uh, hoping to get the track done as well so people can bring along their steam locos and rolling stock um, but anyway there we are it's very clean ME1 no box but uh, it looks hardly used I mean it looks like it has been fired but maybe once or twice if that uh, and it's been well looked after by the looks of it a uh, slight bit of goo and a bit of rust there on the piston rod not that that makes much odds to the running just the aesthetics uh, we'll probably get around to doing that once we get around to doing all the other things that need to be done uh, on other things but uh, a smart neat engine weighs nothing absolutely hardly anything um, the idea for this as uh, regular viewers will know McKenna comes into it rather a lot um, I was well I had this idea some time back um, and until uh, I had a look at this one really uh, and I don't know if it's going to come off but the idea was is to mount it in a McKenna chassis to start with as long as I can get the prop off um, which we're not sure whether that will unscrew or not but anyway get the propeller off the end and connect it to a simple reduction drive gearbox in McKenna to drive some sort of vehicle um, I'm told it runs quite well we'll find out in a bit I'm just going to level up the boiler all that needs to be done here to level up the boiler I've undone the uh, screws at the base both sides slightly just enough so the boiler will turn in its mount and not far off now actually there's enough play if you like try not to twist the chassis whilst I'm doing this and showing you I'll just move over the boiler slightly and tighten it up and uh, make sure it doesn't move back so folks that's that uh, two minute job just slacking off the bolts either side of the strap that holds the boiler I've moved it over slightly to the right to level it up tighten the bolts strap gets pulled down secures the boiler in place it wasn't that bad um, on the face of it really it just looked pretty bad with the uh, fitting for the safety valve at the top of the boiler being a lot longer a lot taller than a normal say, traction engine of course, they fit more or less flush 
course this enables you to get at the safety valve easily because it protrudes through this uh, hole here that hole there on the uh, shield so it's easy to get at um, with the safety valve fitted it, it did sort of show off the tilt a little bit well it probably looked worse than it was but uh, anyway too many job uh, I have cleaned around the base of the firebox that was covered by the shield uh, just a bit dusty um, I don't really see, I mean looking at the side glass and I don't really see any need to uh, give this anything at all but a bit of oil a bit of water and some fuel as you can see folks I couldn't resist uh, this is my first ME1 I've read about him of course um, most of my stuff comes from the Mammoth book and obviously the internet of course um, but anyway I, I had to have a look including whilst I did so lost the bolt the rolls the cylinder on and lost the uh, spring but I found it um, of course it's essentially or rather the cylinder is and the piston is pretty much the same as others out there or, or was of course the props different and of course the prop has to be very well made because if that shaft's bent it'll rattle like a machine gun um, a neat little two blade propeller now from our point of view uh, to do something with the uh, Meccano uh, it, it looks like it's screwed on but I ain't going to try and force it I'd be easier to just buy a, another piece of brass rod the same diameter or indeed because obviously I'm using Meccano and it's a lot larger diameter than this a uh, brass rod the same as Meccano diameter and turn it down for the rod itself but you know there's no rush on that um, I am asking it to do something that it's not designed to do of course and so one thing it's got a cast uh, mount for the uh, the cylinder piston assembly that has to be pretty strong of course uh, I suppose a tinned flop around especially as it's really only secured at one end so that's good it's also got its uh, felt uh, washer that sits in the recess in the engine frame between the engine frame and the cylinder also that holds uh, oil in now this is just my opinion if you like uh, thought uh, is that it seems to me that although a lot of engines those could have, could have disintegrated by now but it seems to me that engines that had those uh, the lighter they are they seem not to be fitted with them now I suppose that's a cost thing but if that is the case maybe this does potentially because of course it is second hand and you don't know where it's been potentially it could mean it's an earlier one than a lighter one now this is a nice little attention to detail and uh, to improve running as you can see there this is the uh, this is the engine frame obviously with the cylinder removed you can see the recess where the uh, felt washer sits but also you can see a groove now of course this is more or less horizontal now obviously it would be vertical with this being the top but you can see this groove and it runs all the way down to where the prop is which will allow oil to just seep down and lubricate the prop shaft with a little bit of oil at this end Right folks, something I meant to mention earlier and uh, forgot. Um, as you can see, the engine itself, cylinder and piston, is virtually vertical with the piston facing down. Now, the trouble with that is how do you oil the cylinder and piston? You could turn it upside down, but if it's in a boat, how do you get at it, you know? There is a hole here in the engine frame with a pin hole in the bottom which feeds into the recess where the aforementioned felt washer sits and that allows you to top up and uh, oil as you go on prolonged runs just there which is uh, a nice little addition as well regarding the age uh, we know it's somewhere between 78 and 85 uh, I don't know whether this can help I don't know uh, but you'll notice here is the solid fuel burner tray 
and you'll notice it's quite plain it looks a lot more plain than the uh, ones around now certainly well I ain't got one to hand to compare but the main thing about it is the handle look how well formed it is if you like I'll say should we say more ornately formed neater formed instead of just the oval okay the oval does its job you know that sort of flat oval uh, of the more modern handles does the job fine but uh, whether that style of uh, handle on the solid fuel can narrow down the age a bit if you do know let us know so we're all watered up oiled up fueled up we are not using solid fuel regular viewers will probably know by now I only use solid fuel if I really have to um, not so much as the smell anymore because the wax tablets don't seem to smell or the waxed tablets don't seem to smell I should say as much as the old stuff but um, it does get quite gooey underneath the engines over time and meths is far or the residue off meths i.e. the soot is far easier to clean off um, as to whether meths is cheaper these days compared to solid fuel well probably but a half litre bottle of meths is what four quid a box of hammered fuel is about five quid um, there probably isn't a lot in it now well she's well ready let's try and get her to run she does dance around a bit I've got to wash my fingers with the prop of course and I've got to try and hold her steady at the same time and obviously she's getting a bit warm now there we go oh that's not too bad old there the extra rattling is the uh, mess fuel burner moving around a bit because of the uh, it, it, as I said it should be the solid fuel burner but it's not too bad running well those of you may know this and I sort of remember it apparently you're not supposed to run props out of the water um, whether that's just electric or steam I don't know but of course we wouldn't see much in its current state would we if uh, it was in water and of course it'd sink wouldn't it at the moment um, the sheet runs lovely it does want to dance that's the rotation of the flywheel really pulling it round so you can appreciate the weight of the brass flywheel there so uh, it would have a tendency to steer left in a boat or in anything really I suppose but more so in a boat so it goes very well obviously these days with the environment issues you'd have to put a a catch pot or a condenser on the exhaust which would probably quieten it down a bit as well but performance wise I mean that's going like a dream I mean just like the Met 1 such a simple engine but it goes so well Well, we've got it almost uh, stable without holding. Still have to support it slightly. Um, seems to be quite uh, well. I could put it. It uses a lot of water by the looks of it. This is the first firing in my use. Okay, it's with the mess burner, but. Uh, Well, it's, of course, it's bouncing around a bit, but uh, the water level looks below half anyway, it's not a third at the moment. So whether you get uh, two to one is debatable. That's uh, two burners to one boiler. Of course, as I say, this is the mess burner. It's an old one. Of course, they all are now, I suppose. But you see, it's still going well. I didn't make uh, any note of the time when I started it, but it's been running now. Of course, I've uh, stopped started it a little bit to move positions and angles with the video camera, of course. But uh, it's got to be 10 minutes like this. Of course, it's running light. As soon as it's just going now. In fact, 
so much so I don't have to hold it now. Yeah, the, uh, the burner's getting low, but uh, yeah, it could be, it looks like a one to one, uh, at least with a mess burner. What well, uh, With that size of uh, boiler, I was really expecting a two to one. Still, a great runner, no doubt about that. Absolutely flies. Would, uh, I think I'd uh, add a few others to the collection as and when they pop up. Of course, the beauty of this being a local sale, I mean, there's no post which uh, saves a lot of assholes, especially when you have to get on the post office, of course. I say post office, what post office is. Uh, so, as you can see, we're slowing now and uh, there we are, we've stopped. I dare say it'll run a little bit more in a moment. Yeah, the water's low in the glass. It's not low, low, but uh, it's only about a quarter there now. So it does look like a one-to-one. -one. So let's see if we can just get it to run a little bit more. Yeah, as you can appreciate now, she's much quieter and uh, quite a bit slower. But not wrong with it at all. It's a uh, fine runner. And see, the way it stops, it doesn't like, I say, traction engine doesn't slow drag that gradually I put that down to the weight of the uh, the flywheel doesn't look much at that size but it is it is a weight it's uh, easily heavier than say a traction engine flywheel but uh, will she go anymore? the uh, the heat does spread quite well through the base on this one I think we've had our fill of the run yeah, it looks like it. Let's have a look at the burner. Yeah, it's starting to cough a bit, so it's almost out. So there you go, folks. ME1, uh, 1978 to 85, it seems. Um, that should cover the uh, age range of it. Uh, nice runner. Thanks, Lee. Nice one.